Okay, uh, now we are going to listen to the second presentation. The second presenter will be uh, David. Yeah. David? It's not here. It's not here yet. Yeah. Okay, I think David has a problem with his computer. Can we go on to Nashua? Yeah, he's trying to join this, but still like this, sir. So okay, David is here. Okay, David, are you ready to give your presentation? Yes, I'm ready. Great, yeah. Okay, David, you can start now. Okay, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Mr. Ali. Good afternoon, Mr. Lulu. Good afternoon, Ms. Swatma. Uh, so I'm going to talk about new capital city for uh, for Indonesia. The title the title is the new capital city for a better future. Capital city, what is that? Do you guys know what the exact meaning of the capital city is? Yes. Yes. Um, the capital city is a city where the seat of government of a country is located. A place where administrative elements are gathered. They are executive, legislative, and judiciary. 
few reasons why East Kalimantan is the best place for Indonesia's new capital city. Because it has a fairly complete and adequate infrastructure, has much fresher air and clean water availability, and also has minimal disaster risk. As Jakarta, what you guys think about it? What you guys think it's, about Jakarta's condition? It's so crowded. Yes. Yeah, of course. Traffic jam everywhere, several air, yes. air pollution, and pollution. many more problems, right? Yes, and criminal rate is really high. Yeah. In my point of view, if Indonesia continues to be in a state like this, then when can we be when when can we change Indonesia's status to a developed country? The president and the government's purpose to move the capital city to East Kalimantan is to change Indonesia's existing deficiencies for the better. The first reason is. No, 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 not yet. The first reason is Kalim East Kalimantan has a fairly complete and adequate infrastructure. Infrastructure can be defined as the basic physical needs of organizing a structural system that's needed for economic security, the public sector, as the services and facilities needed for the economy to function properly. In the 2015 until 2016 Global Competitiveness Report, compiled by the World Economic Forum or WEF, Indonesia is ranked 62nd out of 140 countries in terms of infrastructure development. Since the authoritarian New Order government under Suharto's leadership was replaced by the reform era in late 1990s. Due to lack of infrastructure, Indonesia's economic growth failed to reach its full potential. To become, a new, to become the new capital city, East Kalimantan already has a lot of readiness. For the air side, for the, the seaside, East Kalimantan has at least two important ports to accommodate transportation. The first one is Semayang Port in Balikpapan, and the second one is Palaran Port in Samarinda. For the air side, East Kalimantan has two airports. The first one is Sultan Aji Muhammad Sulaiman Sepinggal International Airport in Balikpapan, and the second one is Aji Pangeran Temanggung Pranoto Airport in Samarinda. In addition, there are also connecting two bridges for smooth land transportation, namely the Te Tering Sebran Kubar Bridge and Balang Island Bridge in Balikpapan. This is the picture of Semayang Port in Balikpapan. In the second one, this is the picture of Sultan Muhammad, Sultan Aji Muhammad Sulaiman Setinggan International Airport. And this is the picture of Tering Sebrang Kubar Bridge. This is the picture of Jakarta's water and air condition. What you guys think about it? Isn't, isn't it awful, right? Yes, it's really yes. awful. Look at that dirty water and it is of course, not suitable for consumption, and then that the unhealthy air that covers yes. all the, all of the city. Really bad. Yeah, of course. And then 
the second reason why is Kalimantan is the best place for Indonesia's capital city is has much fresher air and clean water availability. Look, this is the comparison between Jakarta and Kalimantan's condition. Look at Jakarta, look at Kalimantan, look at the sky. The air yes. condition and clean water availability of DKI Jakarta area is getting worse. DKI Jakarta has stopped as cities with the most severe levels of air pollution in the world. Since August 2019, uh, the people of Jakarta have been forced to breathe with poor air quality based on air quality reports on the airvisual.com website. And the, the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources, or ESDM, said that the need for clean water in Jakarta is currently estimated at 846 million cubic meters per year. Whereas the water service of the Jakarta PDAM only reaches around 62%, so that the remaining clean water needs are met from groundwater extraction. However, excessive groundwater uptake in Jakarta has led to a decrease in groundwater levels, which has contributed to land subsidence and seawater intrusion, especially in northern Jakarta. The third reason is Kalimantan is also has minimal disaster risk. Kalimantan is located far from the plate boundary, so it will minimally cause an earthquake, which causes severe damage and might disrupt government and community activities in the capital city later. East Kalimantan also rarely occurs flooding because there are so many trees that can absorb rainwater so as to prevent rainwater and also strong tree roots can bind the soil so that it won't collapse. So like in Jakarta, there are also, there are always um, flood, landslide, because all of the tree on Jakarta is, in Jakarta is already, what is it? Uh, what can I say? There are so many illegal logging, logging, right? And then for the picture below, it is a gutter Kalim that Kalimantan has many gutters which may, will make the water flow more smoothly. And there's no water flow that's blocked when it rains. So in Kalimantan, is has um, many gutters to make the water when it rains um, more smoothly to what is it to yeah to that uh, it is um, in conclusion. East Kalimantan is the best city to be the capital city due to its adequate infrastructure, much fresher air and clean water availability, and also the minimal disaster risks will bring Indonesia to a beautiful future. With all the advantages East Kalimantan has, a capital city will not change for a better if the attitude of its people still remains the same as before. Indifferent to cleanliness, intolerance between people committing criminal acts, and many more. So, start changing attitudes from ourselves first, respecting others more, and doing positive things as much as possible. Make ourselves better so that Indonesia will become more advanced. Any question? Uh, thank you, David, for your presentation. Can you close your sharing? Screen sharing. Okay, sir. Wait.
Okay, any question? What about it? Okay, Fira. Yeah. David. Yeah. Uh, as we know now, uh, many Indonesian people do not agree with this trans uh, with this translocating the capital city from Jakarta to Kalimantan, right? Yes. So, if you were the government, what do you think the best way to make sure that this translocation uh, capital city is the best way to bring Indonesia to a better future? Uh, if I were a government, I would say to them, like, uh, look at Jakarta's condition nowadays, look at the clean water crisis and then the the air pol the bad air pollution and also the criminal acts in Jakarta so they can I, I can um, give what is Kalimantan has what is uh, the what is it Kalimantan is already has a lot of readiness because like I said before, uh, Kalimantan is already has many already has complete infrastructure to make to bring Indonesia to to a beautiful future and then uh, so many trees to make to decrease the air pollution and then uh there are many gutters to prevent flooding yeah i would say like that to them to to make sure kalimantan is already uh ready to be the capital the new capital city of indonesia yeah thank you David. Nice. thank you you're welcome Yes, Shirley, please. You want to ask something, Shirley? Yeah. Shirley, your microphone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, David, uh, as we can see that uh, Jakarta compared to Kalimantan, Jakarta is really, is much dirtier than Kalimantan, right? Yes. If, if one day the capital city is finally replaced to East Kalimantan, do you think in long term, in long term, uh, Kalimantan will be polluted like Jakarta right now? In long term, it will be, will it affect the air pollution, the air condition, the water condition? Do you think it will affect that. Okay, thank you, Sarli. Uh, honestly, I I also think about it in long term. How about Kalimantan will be like the first in the fir in the first in the first what is it? If Kalimantan already uh, be our new capital city maybe uh, the people there will like to what is it to keep the the oh my god the environment clean, the what can I say? Like I think the new the new capital city, the government in the new capital city later will make a new rules to prevent uh, pollution, to prevent uh 
to prevent bad things that happens in that happen in Jakarta right now. So that later uh, in in our new capital city will not be as worse as Jakarta. I think like that, like that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, Shirley, for your questions. Any other question? From Tiara, maybe? You wanna ask something, Tiara? No, Mr. Amin. Okay, uh, David. Yes. Uh, many people don't agree with this kind of project, yeah, moving uh, Indonesian capital because of the uh, fund. I mean, I mean the cost is very high. Yeah. The cost of this project is very high. Can you estimate how much uh, it costs to move Indonesian capital to East Kalimantan? And then, uh, how about? improving the condition of Jakarta is better than moving Indonesian capital. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, I think uh, if we all only uh, what is it? improve the the condition of Jakarta that then moving the capital city I, I think it's not efficient because uh, due to our economy uh, and due to the the, in, the infrastructure in Jakarta is not like um, It's not like as complete as uh, Kalimantan has because if uh, a capital city has uh, a lot of has a complete infrastructure, it can bring the, it can brings the capital city to to it can bring the economy of the country become become better and become uh what is it it can increase e economy of indonesia than than the capital city in still in jakarta i think like that mr okay thank you david uh, for your presentation Okay, you did a good job. You're welcome. Okay, uh, I think uh, Palulu, Mr. Lulu. Yeah. yeah. My my battery is uh, so low. So can you become uh, the host for the next presentation? Because I have to charge my phone. Yeah. No problem. Has to be the oh, yeah. So we have to. So see. okay. Uh, for the next uh, presenter, I think it will be Naswa. Yeah? Is it right? Tita. Huh? Tita, sir. Oh, Tita, sir. Tita first. After that. Tita. Okay, are you ready? Uh, maybe yes. <laughs> yeah, you can start now. Hey, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Um. 
So, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Mihita Sita Maisa from Higher Intermediate Four, uh, and I would like to give you all my thanks uh, to the to Mr. Ali and to Mr. Lulu as doctors and to all my young teachers and also to my friends. Uh, here I want to talk about a negative behavior by idols that can affect us oh, as sorry. friends. Uh, Fira, uh, Fira. Mita, Mita. Sorry, yes. to interrupt. 